Hey YouTube, Mark with Ultimate RC. Uh, finally I've got my twin otter ready to go for maiden. Uh, programmed on my iX14 transmitter. Um, throttle cuts on. Of course set up with floats, the only way I'll probably fly this thing. And uh, very nice morning on the bay. We have maybe a one mile plus hour wind coming in from the east southeast at this point um, of course the big attraction for me on this plane besides how big it is compared to what I usually fly up here is it's got that rudder right there and I'm hoping that's going to provide for very easy steering on this all right so let's see what we got here the rudder control is much better than my little UMX Timber. That one you pretty much got to point into the wind and just fly. It's very limited taxing capability. This much different. We're going to give this a whirl. All right, I'm up, but it feels very nose heavy. Even though I balance this out, of course, that could be my trim on this. A little bit better. Flaps. Flaps up. All right, benefit for me of the iX14, checking where the heck my flaps are with a touch of a button. The plane's got a really unique hum with that twin engine. This is the first time I've flown a twin engine. I'm at full throttle here. Currently in safe. Well, oh, full up elevator right there. Well, it could be battery positioning, but per the marks I did on the plane, per the manual, for balancing CG, I almost felt I had the battery. It's a 2200 3S 35C RC battery, so a little bit higher or a little bit heavier than a, a Spectrum battery, but all the way forward with it, and it felt like it was just on. Well, it could be. My elevator, I may need to take a look at that. She's still got a pretty good up. Pull it out of safe here. AS3X mode. Much more responsive now. Still not as much elevator as I would prefer. So I'll have to look at that. Otherwise it seems to be flying pretty nice. Flaps, take off flaps. Dial in some takeoff flaps to keep the lift up on this flight. I'm gonna practice a landing here shortly. That may also be the way I set up the plane on the shore. Sometimes I've had issues with this with my older 
um, warbirds, like when you when they're sitting there, they initialize and they don't initialize in a they don't initialize level or they don't they're they're set for not having that tilt that most warbirds have when they're sitting on the ground and then you get weird flying cake capabilities so some of them like I have had to like hold the tail up to get it to adjust level on safe Oof, a little bouncy don't come in so hot I guess huh We'll try uh, full flaps this time. Landing flap. Definitely need a little more elevator authority. Looking at my transmitter again, I struggle sometimes depending upon the sun angle to see. I can't read that with my glasses. Um, I'm going to do a quick one, one more go around, then I'm going to bring it in. I think that's my timer actually. See if we can get a better landing. Landing flap. Better. She just doesn't have the elevator authority to flare. I may need to make an adjustment on that. Landing flaps bring up. the flaps up, bring it around. where I want to bring it in here I think we'll go to the same side I launched well, this plane's got a really nice light package you're probably I can see it a little bit you're probably not gonna be able to see that on camera uh, I hope to have a evening flight here off the bay real soon so you can see it uh, it's one of the reasons I got this plane is because of the package on it it's really nice And I have to double check too. I know, like some of the newer planes, the newer twin turbo, uh, uh, that Horizon, the Turbo Timber twin, has differential thrust. I think this one is set up like this now because this is V2, and now I'm stuck. Don't remember. I didn't set this up for reverse thrust. And I may have to go get it, but um, all right, YouTube. So, well, maybe I can get it. It's full turn around, clear the lift. I'll bring it out of safe so I got more throw, got more turning ability that way. Yeah, that's better. All right. Thanks so much for watching, YouTube. Mark with Ultimate RC. Like and subscribe. Hey, YouTube. Uh, Mark with Ultimate RC. I'm going to try and do a second flight here after my maiden, but I'm seeing if setting this up with the rudder kind of holding the plane more level I had that hanging off a, a bench and so I'm wondering if that initiation caused some of my issues with uh, the nose down attitude on this so we're gonna try this see if it flies a little bit better
All right, that's initialized. I'm gonna go grab my IX14 transmitter. And again, my biggest complaint with this, I love the radio in general, except for the screen. I need to figure out if there's a way to make that screen brighter. I've switched to a different pair of sunglasses, which are still prescription, and I still have a hard time seeing this uh, with my sunglasses on. I take them off, I can see it just fine. Um, that's a little frustrating for a sunny day like this. I've got to wear sunglasses or a hat. So <clears throat> if you want to fly, you can't fly with just regular glasses. We'll see how this works. Hoping I get a little bit better performance out of this. One last flight in before we head out on the lake today. Pretty nice day. Obviously, look at it. Gorgeous, actually. All right, let's see what we got. Throttle fly. cut off. Safe we'll take do a safe takeoff here. Let's see what we've got. All right, let's give this a shot. I did that with no flaps too, pretty nice. That's feeling a lot better already. I think that may be the key. It's there, gravity was off the way I set it up the first time. Gain some altitude and let's pull it out of safe, see what it does. Not bad. Try to do a big loop. Roll it back around, here we go. I think that may have been the issue. I still may have to do a little bit with the elevator, but it is not. Oh, look at the pelican. Let's we'll see if we can fly by him. Hard to believe, but yes, we have pelicans up here. I mean, maybe he came over to check me out and see if I was <laughs> a pelican. In the summertime, those come up here. They're, of course, not year-round residents, but we have flocks of those. Um, Apparently they used to go to a lake in North Dakota, a very shallow lake, a big one, but shallow. And that lake over the course of the last five, 10 years has completely dried up. And so now they come here. Uh, never used to have pelicans up here growing up when I was a kid, shoot, even 20 years ago. And now we do, it's uh, an odd sight. Fishermen hate them because they do eat a lot of fish. What kind of cool bird to see though. We got pelicans in Wisconsin. Who knew? All right. The only thing, the other thing I want to check out about this plane is I wonder, 4S wise, how capable it is. I got to do a little more research on that. I'd like a little more punch out of it. It's not bad for 3S for sure. Uh, and I'm sure if you take the pontoons off of this thing. Take off flap. It would be more agile. AS3X mode. Well, it does pretty good though with those on there. Can still perform maneuvers. Safe mode. Try another touch and go. Take off, take off, flaps Do that up. with take off flaps. Coming around. Flaps up. Take off flaps. 
Try landing flaps. Landing flaps. I would still like a little more elevator authority on the flare, but that also could be due to the landing flap. Take off flap. Take off flap. Flap up. The pontoons on it. I've never, uh, this is Maiden, so I've never flown this plane with just the gear. I don't know that I will. It'll probably stay up here, and this is what I'll use it for. Um, again, uh, excited to get a night flight on this or an evening flight and see the LED package on this. About 65% throttle right there, cruising pretty good. Flap, take off, flap. I can set up a little bit better approach so that I land in front of the dock. Hopefully not on his dock. Definitely an improvement over my UMX Timber, but of course it would be given the size of the plane and everything. Uh, there's my timer. Let's see if I can set up for a little bit better landing here. We need to program some elevator into that balloons a little bit on the landing flaps. There you go. Certainly more forgiving with the pontoons than regular gear. I would imagine I'd be hitting the surface pretty hard with that. But uh, there you go. We'll see if I can get this to come in. I'm gonna have to go. Seems to turn better this direction. That may have everything to do with where the rudder is. It's on one pontoon. You don't have them on both. And I think that does have in your affect your ability to steer this thing. All right, folks. There you have it. The twin otter from E Flight. Thanks again for watching. Mark with Ultimate RC. Like and subscribe.